Hey guys, this is one of the traveling Dutchy coming right at you from Costa Rica. In today's video, we're going to discuss the COVID test here in Costa Rica. This is to help people that need to show a negative COVID test up on return in the United States. So here in Costa Rica, we both offer the PCR test and the rapid test, so we'll discuss both options. If you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat. I've been living in Costa Rica for the last 16 years. I co-own a travel company, so I get to advise my clients every day on anything related Costa Rica travel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You stay up to date on all the entry requirements and everything you need to know when traveling to Costa Rica. Now you guys, since my YouTube stats show me that most of my viewers are from the United States and most questions are related to the United States. We'll be discussing the pre-flight requirements for people returning to the United States. So here in Costa Rica, we have the PCR test that is accepted by the United States and it gives you the results depending on where you are in Costa Rica, but anywhere between 24 hours and 48 hours. And a PCR test costs anywhere between $80 and $130. If you're in a remote area, you'll be close to paying $130, but I pay in my local lab, I pay $80. Now, the good news is that very since very recent, now in Costa Rica, you can get the rapid test. And the rapid test is also accepted by the United States. And what's so great about it, as the name it says, you can get the results very fast. Like in, in, sorry, in San Jose, you can actually get it in two hours. In other locations, still you get it the same day. So to get a rapid test, you actually need to show your ID and a plane ticket because you can only get the rapid test for onward travel. So that's why they require you showing a plane ticket. Now keep in mind though, because they just started, the testing facilities for the rapid test mostly are in the San Jose area. However, at the moment, they also provide this test in Mount Antonio, in Liberia, in Tamarindo, in Samara, Nosara, and Grecia. Now, they constantly keep adding new locations. So in the description below, I will, I will leave a list, but just keep in mind this list, list will keep growing um, as the days pass and the rapid test is a bit cheaper than the PCR. It's about 50 or $60 Do keep in mind that at a lot of locations you would need to make an appointment to To do the rapid test if you are outside the San Jose area at least take a week prior to make the appointment it's March at the time of this video March 2021 and labs are extremely busy getting their tourists um, their test. So make sure you make the arrangements on time because it has happened that a couple of people got their test results back too late and couldn't board the flight. So the United States wants you to do this test three calendar days prior to your flight. All right, so don't wait all the way to, to the last day. Just, you know, make the appointment and Make it for at least, I don't know, 48 hours and you're good to go. And all the labs will just email you the results. You don't have to go back to get the results. Also keep in mind that if you already vaccinated, you would still need to present the negative COVID test on your return. I'll keep you up to date on this channel if that ever changes. And do keep in mind that Costa Rica has entry requirements um right one of them being the mandatory travel insurance costa rica offers two local companies that offer pre-approved travel insurance however they are expensive and i don't like that their policies are in spanish so if you actually need to make a claim it becomes a little bit uh complicated keep in mind you guys costa rica does have entry requirements you need to keep into account right so the first one being that the Costa Rica government wants you to have a health insurance that covers COVID. So it's not just any travel insurance. It has to cover these requirements. And they offer two local options 
um, that are pretty approved by the government. However, they're very expensive and uh, their policy is in Spanish. So it gets a little complicated in case you actually want to make a claim. My travel company, we actually recommend our clients this international insurance that's a lot more affordable and that actually covers the requirements of the Costa Rica government. I'll leave the link in the description below. So just scroll down this video, click on more, and you'll find the insurance that we recommend. And remember, you need to fill out a health pass, an online health pass. I'll leave the link to that health pass below as well. Just keep in mind, uh, it's only available, it becomes available 48 hours prior to your flight. You need to fill out basic information on your arrival information, some basic health information, and this is where you attach your health insurance, your travel insurance as well, so that once they approve it, you actually receive a QR code that you take with you on your phone. This is what you need to show at check-in and you show it here at immigration. Very important information. I have a little bit more detailed, longer video specifically on the entry requirements. So I will link that video at the end of the video. It will pop up in case you wanna look at that one as well. It is important to come prepared. It is absolutely fabulous to come to Costa Rica right now. Travel has been uh, open since last year, August, and since last year, November, to all countries in the world. And it's so good to see tourism blossom again because, you know, during the lockdown, you know, the country was hurting. So, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, click that little bell icon. I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Leave any questions in the comments below and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao from Costa Rica. Pura vida!